guys welcome back to another video i was cooking and i thought well let me record this for my youtube family so i have some ground um i want to say i think it's ground deer i think it is i think that's what it is i know it's not beef but i'm gonna turn it around and show you guys but I am going to make a hamburger casserole. I see my good sis. Um, oh my God. Oh, my mind went blank. Jessica, I'm sorry, Jessica. Um, my good sis, Jessica. Um, she has a YouTube channel with her sweet baby girl, Lala. I just love watching their videos and watch how they interact together. It makes me think so much about my little Kilani. So, uh, welcome to my channel. If you're new, hi, my name is Belinda. I do mostly cooking in my video. I also do spiritual content and um, spiritual, inspirational videos. I do grocery haul, um, store haul, decorate, organization i mean i have done a little everything on my channel but in today's video i'm going to be cooking hamburger casserole so i'm going to turn you around and show you guys the ground meat that i am cooking okay this is my ground um hamburger meat but well, it's not ground beef it is ground deer i believe um so I season it with some um, nature seasoning, a little bit of this Kinder's Buttery Steakhouse. Of course, you know I use my onion powder. And then in my seasoning cabin, I use some Mrs. Dash. I also use some of this um, Chef Paul Magic Salt Free Seasoning all-purpose blend and also use some of this garlic powder so i'm just gonna let this ground uh, meat brown and then i'm gonna get my potatoes and start slicing up my potatoes so i can get them boiling okay guys these are the other ingredients that i'm gonna be using i have some golden idaho potatoes that i'm gonna peel and slice and put them on let them be cooking she used cream of mushroom she used two cans of, uh, I don't know if it was cream of mushroom and cream of chicken or just two cans of cream of mushroom. But I saw this golden mushroom that I had in my pantry. So I'm going to use this in mine. Uh, I'm just going to use one can because I'm going to make just a small serving. I'm not going to even use that whole um, pound of ground beef that I got browning because I just want enough for this evening for me and Gary to eat, but I'm going to use this golden mushroom, put these on, let them be boiling, and also I'm making my cookies, my shortbread cookies, y'all saw that in my last video, those cookies is a hit, guys, so I'm making them again, I done made them probably, probably about five times, um, like I said, I've, I've made those cookies about five times since I first made them, they are the recipe is so easy to make and they are delicious and they really not that bad for us like i mean i know you have the carbs because you have the flour but i'm sure if you're uh, washing your carbs you could use like almond flour or something uh, and then i'm using brown sugar on one third uh, cup of brown sugar for one batch but i'm i always do like a double batch because one batch is just not enough of course, you know, I will be taking some and giving them away to somebody. So that's why I always make extra because um, I like to make little happy for people at my church or family or friends or whatever. So, but yeah, that's what I got going on this evening. I hope you guys are having a great day. It's Saturday. Gary and I got up this morning. We slept in a little bit. Then we got up and went to Hattiesburg. I needed to go to Sounds, but I changed my mind on that so we just went to i went and prayed a bill we went to i had to run in dollar tree i finally found me some nose strips 
and the light bulbs that I was wanting. So I got that at Dollar Tree and some napkins. That's all I got. And then I went in Ross to take my dress back. That dress that I show y'all in that home, it was just too tight in the bus area. And um, so I just took it back. I couldn't find another one that I really like. I saw one that I liked, but the arms were out and I didn't want to have to wear a jacket or anything over it because how the dress was made. I felt like it would took away from the beautiful dress. So I ended up just getting, um, I'll show you guys what I got in another video. When I do my decorate with me video, I am redoing my bathroom, my guest bathroom. And I'll show y'all what I picked up. I also picked up like a shower caddy because we get to put a new shower head on our shower, like a rain, and then the detached thing. I love it, love, 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 love it. He got it from Amazon. I think he said it was under $40, very inexpensive, but y'all, I love it. And I will show you guys that too in um, another video. But I did need another shower caddy, so we picked that up. I got a little small bench to go on my guest bathroom to put up on it. Cause it's got us on the side, it's got like a vent where you can do like your makeup if you want to sit down. So I brought this real beautiful. The same the the same material, that black, that velvet black rug bathroom set that I got. The one on my floor that I show y'all in the hall. I found a beautiful gold and black little bench, little bench seat and you can sit on. It's so beautiful. So I picked that up, and then I picked up, it looked like um, kind of that, uh, I want to say palm, but that's the pompous grass. But it, it's not, it's like plastic, but it looked like the pumping grass, and it's kind of a, it's white, and it looks sort of gold, so I may or may not use that in the bathroom. So that's all I picked up there. And then I went to Dollar General and just picked up a few things for the house. Nothing, you know, nothing that, was worth sharing and we went to KFC got something for, to eat for lunch and that was it we came on back home we didn't do too much in Hasbro um, but I wanted to share this video share this uh, recipe with you guys so we'll get started cooking on this hamburger casserole all right guys I forgot to show you when I added the cream of mushroom I did boil my potatoes and drain them, and here's my cheese that I'm gonna be using also. Mmm, good. Potatoes, which I kind of overcooked them, but they still was good. Now I'm going to add my cheeses to it. I added some grated, I grated this mozzarella, no, I grated this cheddar cheese. It was a block. I had a little bit left in another pack, but then most of it was just a block. I grated it, and then I put some mozzarella on top. So those are the two cheeses that I use in this casserole. As you can see, I got one batch of my cookies out of the oven. I got another one in there. And look at this. This is the star of the show. This delicious hamburger casserole. Jessica, what you think, girl? It looks good on it. 
Yes, it does. And guys, it was very, very delicious. Mm. Delicious.